make sure you follow me on Instagram, Twitter. All the links are in my bio below and on my Snapchat. My Snapchat is where I'm the most active. So if you guys really want to get a quick response from me, hit me up on Snapchat. Hi everybody, my name is Kathleen and welcome to my channel. Hello Kathleen Green. So today for you guys, I'm going to be showing you what I keep in my clinical bag. So, this is a bag from Victoria's Secret. I actually got this bag for free and it zips. So it's just so convenient and it's very durable. So I've been using this bag for my two years that I've been, matter of fact, a year and a half because my first semester I had a black duffel bag and it was just too big, but this is like a perfect size. The next thing I have is this little pouchy here. This is also free from Victoria's Secret. I like Victoria's Secret pink. I like their sweatsuits. So in here I have my ID badge. And then I also on the back, it has like the color code thing that everyone should have. And then I have the ID from the hospital and then I have my school ID. And I have it on this here. I got this from Walmart. It says wild and free, and I got a lot of compliments on it. Then also I have my Litman stethoscope. I had this for about four years now, and it still works really good. It has the gold and the black, just nice, sleek, and professional. I have some woman items in here. These are really important. Make sure you carry extra from your, for your friends because some people just bring like a little pouchy pouch. And some people don't think about like other things that you might need such as lotion and menstrual stuff so I always keep this stuff on me and then I have a permanent marker a whiteboard marker and a highlighter and these are so important so this is so I can like write my name you know on the board if I felt like it because as student nurses in my program we really didn't have to write our name on the board but by the fourth semester it was kind of like okay like I'm here I'm present I know what I'm doing I'm confident enough to for you to call me if you need something basically highlighter i use this a lot to highlight information that i would need for my sim chart so in my program we use sim chart online to chart up the patients that we have and then a permanent marker i don't know it just makes things more bold so if i needed to like box around something like that i don't know i just really liked having it oh also i liked having it because it was easy to label things like um urinals if the two clients in the room both had urinals like initials here and initials here this is yours and this is yours don't mess it up i have a pencil i have a red pen and a red pen i do for like important things pen light and you always have to have a watch with a third hand to count the seconds Mine is dead, but it's important to have these. Um, you might want to try and get a waterproof one as well. And then I have a blood pressure cuff. I haven't used this since my first semester, but I just always kept it in there just in case. And then I have some Carmex. I don't use this anymore, but just throw that away. And then I have a whole bunch of alcohol prep pads. And then I have some bobby pins because, you know, with the slick back, you want to make sure you look good and professional all the time. So I would always have bobby pins with me. The next thing that I have in my clinical bag is waters. I'm always thirsty and I'm always walking around doing stuff, asking people if they need help. So it's important to stay hydrated. So always make sure that you have waters. I bring two here and then I usually keep one in my pocketbook and one in my lunchbox. So that way I know I have like four waters for the day. And it just makes it easier and then also if someone else is thirsty you know they can have some i always think about other people because like me i'm a bag lady so i make sure that i have everything that i possibly can so for those people who aren't a bag lady or a bag man like me you know they're like kathleen do you have this and most of the time it's like yeah kathleen will have it um this is my notepad i use this to take notes of the clients and patients that i would have but then in my second semester, I saw someone with this, and I was like, I want this. So I used this for my first semester, and I also used this when um, I went to different departments, and I had to like do a write-up on the department because it was just easier to carry in my pocket. And then also when I went to like the OR or other places where I had to like change my uniform, I, I bought this because I didn't know how big the pockets were going to be. And this is really, it's small, but it's big. So you need like a big pocket to stick it in. And I just love this so much. And um, also what's a really good thing to do, which I did this for all my semesters. I, I don't know how to laminate things. I don't have that type of equipment to do that. But 
for everything that I needed to do and everything that I needed to chart on my sim chart and my alternative experiences I would put them in plastic things and keep them on here so I know what I have to do and then this is like a summary of what I had to do in the chart because this was everything we had to do and just looking at a lot of words makes me very stressed so therefore I just broke it down and I made it to six different things and that's what this whole thing is saying but this just has a lot more detail and then also see how like I'm always thinking about everybody else everyone will come to me well not everyone a few people will come to me and be like hey do you have this paper blah blah and be like yeah it's right here and then they have like a typical day so I know what to expect and then also we had like phone numbers and stuff like that and just I don't know it's important things to have so I would have that and then I have a vlog mask in here, which I would wear whenever I was on prednisone because prednisone you get like really sick. Well, I get really sick. So I have that to wear. And then I have my folder, which just has some extra pieces of paper in it just in case I needed it. Um, a paper for simulation because we had to fill out that before we went into our simulation. And different ways to document um, like patient info like this. So all stuff that I don't need all the time at clinical, I just keep inside my folder. And then the next thing I have, oh, of course you have to have black pens. Those are like number one important. I also keep an extra pair of compression socks. These are very essential. And sometimes in the morning if I'm rushing or whatever and I don't remember to bring them, at least I know that I always have an extra pair inside of here. These are really expensive, but they're very, very good. So as long as you have like two, three pairs, say that you become a nurse, like I'm gonna be working three days a week. I have three pairs, so that's perfect. These are very important to have. I really recommend you keeping a pair inside of your clinical bag. So that's it for my clinical bag. I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you guys um, get some ideas for my clinical bag. I really recommend a vlog mask if you ever get really, really sick. If you ever have to take prednisone for asthma or anything like that and you get sick, please get this mask. This really, really helps. And it's better for the environment because you're not throwing it away constantly. And you got a lot of compliments. Like everyone's like, ooh, that's a pretty mask. I'm like, I know. <laughs> Thanks, girl. So thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys next time. If you guys have any questions or any recommendations for any other videos that I should do, please let me know. I'm trying to be on my shiznit for 2019 and helping you guys out as much as I can. So I'll see you guys next time. Bye.